We just made these shelf sitters using some mixed media. A little bit of DTF, a little bit of sublimation, some laser, and a whole lot of sarcasm. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. If you like to do a build it or make it. So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. And this week, we're using my three favorite media. Sublimation, DTF, and lasers. Lately here at the craft shows, we've been asked for some desktop versions of our signs. It's always the snarky, sarcastic, funny signs that bring them in. Yeah. When people are walking by, the funny, sarcastic signs catch their eye. We call them our snarky signs. Catch their eye and they want to come in and see what else we have. But they don't always want that big, sarcastic sign on their front door. Right. They want something a little more subtle that maybe they can put on their desk if you pass by there you might get a little chuckle or put it on a shelf or on a tabletop somewhere in their home again it's subtle you pass by you'll get a chuckle we tried to shrink our signs before but some of the details got lost they got burned up on the laser they just did not work it took a lot of time to paint them still yeah i mean it was a little faster but i mean pretty much the same cut time pretty much the same paint and assembly time and the uh, juice was not worth the squeeze. He was waiting for that joke. I <laughs> tossed it up and you didn't like hit it. <laughs> so we thought we'd come up with another way to make these signs desktop size, but faster, cheaper, easier. And I think we've got something. Yeah, I think we got something using some DTF, some sublimation, and of course the laser. It's gonna cut everything. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some dry erase board that's got a chalkboard on the other side. Did you know that you could sublimate on this dry erase board? Did you also know that you could cut this dry erase board out with the laser? This dry erase board is not only gonna be our backers, it's gonna be our letters. Half the project is gonna be right here out of this board. Yep. I'd say more than half, 75%. 75%. Do I hear 80? Yeah, maybe. Some of them 80. We also needed our sublimation printer, sublimation paper, sublimation ink, some high heat tape. We'll show you all of those things. Links will be in the description below. We're also going to use our Pro Color DTF printer. Uh, so that requires the DTF film, the glue, the ink, uh, yeah, and the DTF the ink, and a heater. That's right. We'll show you all the things that we're using. Uh, if you have one or the other, either will work for this project. I will say I love this new Pro Color printer that we have. It's a replacement because I broke the other one. Uh, but this one is the newer version and it's been great. It's been great. We also needed some paint and some glue. Very little paint. Yeah, tiny bit of paint. And of course we needed a desktop laser. We're going to use our X-Tool P2 because it's got that camera. Step two, we're gonna create our design. We're gonna do all of our design work over in Canva this week. We love Canva. Canva is great. Great for doing some mock-ups and for easy, like, quick cut files. So we're gonna customize our little canvas. We'll make it 10 inches. Let's make this inches. We'll make it 10 inches by 10 inches. Create new design. And we're going to start by just drawing a circle. I'll give myself a circle. And we'll make this 10 by 10. So it's easier. 10 by 10. Center it on here. This one doesn't really matter. Now we're going to add a frame so we can put a picture inside it. So it'll be the shape of our like frame. So you come in here, you just type in frame, type in frames. We need a circle frame and we're going to make this 10 by 10. It's already locked. We'll go ahead and center it. Now we need a picture to put inside here. So let's go ahead and look for a skate park. And we're looking for a photo. 
I know I want this photo. So I'm just going to drag it right into there. And if I don't like where it is, I can change some positions well, by editing the photo. And then I can crop the photo. I can slide it around a little bit. Alright, looks good. Done. Let's add some text to this thing. So we'll just come over here. And I'll put a heading up here. And this one is kind of funny. So let's go ahead and type it out. I don't always. I'm going to click off. Let's go ahead and find our font. I know what font I want. It's Alderly. This one, which is Alderly Swash. There we go. Good change. So, yeah, it did. Right. Let's control C, control V, copy paste. Make this one bigger. Stick it up in here. We'll select both of these. We'll make these white. All right, one more paste. But for this font, I want capsule on condensed. There it is. Copy and paste this one that way it keeps my font. It's and paste again. Ankle. All right, it's around a little bit. Let's make my ankle bigger. That's the joke part. Let's make the punchline a little bit bigger. Alright, it needs a little something. Let's get rid of this one. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Move it up. So, let's make sure this guy is center. Center. Let's make sure this guy is center. Alright, it needs a little something here. So let's go to elements. Say crutch. Oop, let's spell crutch right. I want a graphic. Perfect right there. Bam. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We'll bring it up to the top of the crutch. Space this stuff out a little bit. Alright, there we go. That is our design. Our design is all finished. Step three, we're gonna make our cut file. Xtool's design software is Creative Space, but did you know that the Xtool P2 also works with Lightburn? One of the things we're gonna do in the cut file today is just gonna be a little bit easier in Lightburn, so we thought we'd show you how to make the cut file in Lightburn. All right, let's make this design an actual cut file. So we're gonna go ahead and export this. We're gonna download, and we're gonna export this as an SVG with a transparent background. Download. Alright, now we're going to select the words. There we go. So the outlines. Make them all white. Now I'm going to go ahead and download this, but as a PNG, so we'll download as a PNG, and I do want a transparent background, download, 
All right, over in Lightburn now, we're going to import our image. So let's go to Downloads. I don't always PNG. And we don't need this. We don't need that. But what I do need is a 10 inch circle. So I'm going to draw a circle. Holding shift. There we go. And yeah, now I can tell that it's 10 inches. Let's actually make it 10 full inches. All right, now here's where it really gets easier in Lightburn. See how all these are a different little uh, cuts, little objects. So let's grab these and we're just gonna merge them. Bam. That's the one thing that I found that you can't do in Creative Space that you can in Lightburn. So we're just gonna go ahead and unite or merge or weld all of these little pieces here. Let's keep welding. There you go. Everything's welded. Let's ungroup this. I'm gonna move this little guy just down a scooch so we can weld him. Yeah, that's less pieces I have to place. All right, so all of my cut pieces are going to be red. So let's go ahead and move my circle next to them and grab everything. Now I can really condense all this stuff and save room. So let me bring this down. I'll bring ankle up. I'll bring its ankle up. Oops, control Z. Go ahead and group all that and group it. Bring it in. Oops, lost my B. Alright, bring everything over. Let's try to save some space. Alright, we are set. We are ready to go. So for my Oh, let's make all these red. These are all going to be cut. Cut. So for my speed and power, I'm going to use 10 meters per second. And I'm going to go 75% power. Now, actually, I want the top words to be white and the bottom words to be black. So let's go ahead and select all the words that I want to be white. And we'll move them up out of the way. All right, let's grab these. We'll turn these sideways so I can save some room. We're just gonna group these at the same time. Control G, we'll bring this over. Now I see that it's, it's my roll is going through here, but I'm not gonna select that. I'm just gonna select these pieces and now I'm ready to cut. So again, my speed is 10 millimeters per second. My power is 75. Let's go cut this. Step four. We're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take this over to the P2 and we're gonna cut out some of the pieces out of the white side. And then we're gonna slap it up, flip it, rub it down to cut the other pieces out of the black side. Very little painting. Yes, this is what makes this faster and cheaper. We're gonna print our designs. I'm gonna print all of my designs, both of mine I guess, just two, using sublimation. And I'm gonna print the DTF versions. For my sublimation print, I'm just gonna use Word. I found that that's the easiest. So I'm just gonna insert my picture from this device. It's the emotional support shark. You're doing a good job. 
I uh, know the dry erase that I cut out was eight inches flat, so let's go ahead and make this eight inches. And we'll put this in front of the text, and then I can move it around and make it center. I'm gonna pump up the color a little bit. Let's pump it, the saturation up 200%. That way it'll look good when I press it. And we'll flip this horizontally so it's mirrored. File, print. I'm gonna use my Epson EcoTank 2760 that we converted into a sublimation printer. Printer properties, I'm just gonna make sure that the quality is on high. Okay, and let's print. Step six, press it. Now we're gonna press. Now we're gonna press our uh, our images onto our backers. But first, we're going to uh, wipe our backers down with some alcohol to make sure we get all that residue and char and oils and everything. Just clean it, clean it, clean. Whew. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're not driving after this. <laughs> if you don't have one of these yet, and you're doing sublimation, you absolutely need it. Like, I thought it was overkill, a bit bougie when I got it, and I thought I was funny because I was like, look at this pink thing that I'm getting. But man, this thing is great. It actually cuts your tape for you and pulls up just little short like pieces for you. You're you create so, your own cut pieces. You're so craft bougie. Yeah, craft bougie. I'm using this this time because I don't have to paint the board white and I already have this board. So just know that you don't have to use this like you do with the sublimation. Uh, but I do think since I have it, it's a convenience. It's already white. It's going to help those colors look a little brighter and a little more vibrant. Did you just side thumb us? You just side thumb me. <laughs> That's, look. What does that even mean, side thumb? Like, he just like, these guys, this guy over here this with guy. his sublimation. <laughs> The thing with sublimation is he does need to tape this down because it cannot move and it will try and slide some in the heat press. So this is going to keep it from moving so it doesn't get that ghosting image. So you notice on my image I have the uh, little white outlines. That's where we'll be placing all of our little letters. We're going to still make these 3D and make them pop. We're just hopefully going to save some time with the backer and some of the colored pieces that we would normally paint. Um, yeah, I'm not going to put too much on there, just two sides. All right, the press calls. I'm going to hit it, 385 for 45 seconds. For DTF, I have just aligned the image over the circle MDF. We're going to press it at 300 degrees for 10 seconds. This one's a quick press. Now this is a cool peel, so I'm going to set it aside, let it cool, and then peel the overlay off. Now I'm back. I couldn't find my Teflon sheet, so I put the cover sheet back on. We're going to press it for another 10 seconds after you peel the cover sheet off, just to make sure everything is sealed. 
And those are the instructions on this particular glue we're using. That's it. Step seven. Woo. Time to paint, but not with a brush. Woo. We're gonna use these little makeup sponges because we only have a few pieces. I have a little shark, and she's got a little gas can and a match, <laughs> and then a crown for the for the cat. And that is it. Like just a couple of pieces, give them just a little hint of our style. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly right. All right. I'm gonna knock this out quickly, so don't look away. Yeah. Don't don't blink. This will be quick. Now we're gonna bring it all together. We're gonna use some of this Starbond Thick and we're just gonna glue all of our little pieces into place. Like we have outlines for everything. Now we're just gonna put it into place. Before we do it though, we're gonna clean both the back and the fronts of these letters. Step nine, profit. It's my favorite step. So we're all in for about $8 in materials and time, and I think we can get 20 to $25, depending on level of effort. Right, this board, this two foot by three foot board, cut all four of these, it was $10. We threw a couple dollars in for labor, laser time, paint and glue. Yeah, no more than eight fifty. I think it's closer to seven or seven fifty in so. each one of these. And what do you guys think? So they're snarky. I don't know if you were able to read them. We're gonna give you some nice close up shots, but they're very funny and I think they're gonna be entertaining. My favorite is this I know I thought my favorite was going to be this uh, roll your the ankle. ankle. Yeah. But I really enjoy my shark here. Yeah. I think he's cute. His emotional support shark. You're doing a good job. <laughs> And you're doing a good job. And did you know that there's a Kim and Garrett After Dark podcast as well as free SPGs, a super secret Facebook group, and a monthly Zoom call? That's all for our top tier patrons. You can join us over at patreon.com. You can find all of our kits and paints in our store at kngmakeit.com. These guys know. We love our patrons. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, that's the after dark. We will see you and next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget to join us on Tuesdays where we do a test cut Tuesday. It's usually a door hanger or something. It's a live test cut. See if it works. Put it together. Like, I don't know. I think this was the easiest one to do the balancing thing. Ooh, but he's a little, a little, he's a little top wonky. heavy. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa! And he broke it. I didn't break it. Look, <laughs> tough and durable.